Hello and welcome. This is Angie with the CountrySheetCottage.net and we're here today with another edition of our Cricut Basics series. So Cricut Basics is all about the basics of your Cricut machine and learning how to get the most out of Cricut Design Space. So today we're going to talk about those files that you import in and you want to divide them up and cut them, let's say, out of different colors of paper or different colors of vinyl and how to do that with an image you import. So we're going to import some images, show you how to do that, show you how to divide them up. Now, if you have any questions about anything we're doing, please ask them in the comment section below and I will get to those as I can. So here we go. The first thing we'll do is start uploading our image. So I'm going to click upload. And this tutorial is basically for things like JPEGs or King files that come in as all one color. So first of all, the first thing we're going to do is separate these colors. So first, if we click the different types of files, we might see a difference. So you can see that the white in the ears turns pink at some of the other settings. So the first thing I want to do is pick complex and click continue. Now I want to divide this up into the colors. So if I imported it like this, it would all import as one cut file. But let's say I wanted each of the colors to be a separate cut file. So what I could do is select and erase some of the colors. So in this case, I could eliminate everything but the yellow. Then click continue. This next screen will actually show me a preview. So you can see in this cut image preview how there is some residual things left even after I deleted off everything else. So what we can do is click back. We can start again with selecting each of the elements. Now what you want to look for is things like around these flowers. See how there are lines? So you can actually zoom in, get a clearer picture of those, and we can actually erase all of those. So instead of select and erase, we can just click the erase. We can actually change the size of the eraser if we would like. And then as we run this along, you can see those lines disappear. So this will involve cleaning up the file to segregate each of the different colors. And then you'll also want to be careful not to touch, say, the yellow in this case, and make sure that we only get the residual that's left. And then we can zoom out. And then we can still see a little bit more on this side. And we can continue to clean that up until we are left with just the yellow in this case. So we'll click continue. And it looks much better. So we can actually save it as a print and cut or a cut image. So if you save it as a print and cut, you can change it later to a cut once you're in your file. So I'm just going to save it as a cut. And what I'm going to do is save this as unicorn one. And you can also write something in the tags to tell you what it is. So we could say yellow and we can save that. And then we'll want to continue with each of the other colors in the same manner. So using the exact same procedure, when we get to this screen, we're going to actually upload the image a second time. So the first time we had just the yellow portions and now we'll upload again, find it, Again, click complex, and this time say we'll do all the pink. So we would eliminate all of the other colors, clean it up with the eraser, save it out as a cut file, and we'll continue on until we have all of our pieces complete. And then I'll show you the finished file, which has all the different colors segregated for you to cut out of different vinyl or different paper. 
One additional thing that may be helpful as you're cleaning up your images is there is a preview button down at the bottom. So you can actually click the preview and you can see more of the areas. Hide preview, then erase more. Preview, see more of the areas. And so you can kind of switch back and forth, which may be helpful when cleaning up some of the more complicated portions of the image. You can also crop your image, which is super helpful. So I'm going to segregate the black this time, so I'm going to hit crop. And then I can just crop out just those portions, select and erase the yellow, and the black is complete. Then once you add all those images to Design Space, you can see on the right over here that they are actually all different layers. And we can actually change them back to their colors so that when you cut them, you'll be cutting the different colors of paper or vinyl or iron-on or whatever you wanted to cut. It's one way to cut in different layers, even if you just find a JPEG or a ping somewhere that you want to use with your Cricut machine. So a second way is if you are using a file that is actually part of Cricut Design Space. So I have one of those added. So this is a quote and it's actually in Cricut Design Space. So I just clicked images and I searched for a quote. Now what if I, this is all one? So what if I wanted to make, say one of these words, a different color? So there is a way that we can also split this up. And you can also use this for images that you upload as well. Um, but the uploading that I just went through is a little easier than this version, especially with something complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a square over the word lifetime. Then I'm going to pick both the square and the quote. I'm going to click slice. Now I'm going to start moving this stuff off. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete the black lifetime. And now I can change this word to whatever color I want it to be. And it's a different cut file than the rest of the image. So you can do that with any of the words, say, in this image, and just slice them out into a different color. So what if it's something a bit more complicated? So what if I wanted to take this flower and make it a different color? So I could try using the same type of trick with a square or a circle or whatever shape I wanted to, but it's obviously going to take part of the other words with it, but that's okay. So let's get it as good as we can. So here I'm not touching mother, I'm not touching flower. So, and I have the entire flower under my box. So again, I'm gonna pick both of them and I'm gonna click slice. I'm gonna be a bit more careful with what I move off. So this time we just need to be a bit more careful with what we move and delete off. So we wanna delete off the excess surrounding it. And now we have a flower that's a different color. And then we have this, and it's actually a different piece. So I'm going to actually put that back. So we don't want to move this. We want to highlight both of those, and we want to weld those back together. So now that's all one piece again. This piece, we just need to clean it up to segregate the flower. So we can do that with shape still. So we're going to do a circle and we're going to get rid of the A. This time we can delete all that off. And then we want to get rid of is in the same manner. So let's try a circle for that. And now we should be left with the flower. But how do we get rid of the flower in the original image? Because we just want to cut it out of a different piece of vinyl over to the side. So on the original image, we can click contour. And then we're going to hide the contour or turn the contour off for all of those flower pieces. So we just need to click 
all of the cut lines for the flower. Go back out, preview that, and now everything looks great. You can actually move this in so we can see what our finished design will look like. We can change the color of this to something else. And so now we have a flower cut from a completely different color than the rest of the quote. And we can do that to any of the pieces within the design. So that's two ways to do it for designs that are in Cricut Design Space, and then one way to do it with the design you're uploading. So it's not too bad. So this is more a little bit more of an advanced video. So if you get confused on it, go back, watch it again, try a few times on your own, see if you can get those files to divide up into different pieces. If you can't, again, leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out. Also, if you're having a ton of trouble, you might try looking for SVG files. Um, there's probably some that, there may be some for free, but there may be some you could purchase. So maybe an SVG file that would work for the project you're wanting and those would already be divided up. Also, the images and projects available in Cricut Design Space are already divided up as well. So you might try that option. If you don't wanna spend a ton of time dividing up your own image, you could definitely use an image that's already divided like in Cricut Design Space or an SVG file but you might have to pay for those. But it might be worth like the 99 cents or 2.99 that you might have to spend for that. So think about those options as well. If you like this and it helped you, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our Cricut Basics series. If you have any questions about your Cricut, you might head to our YouTube channel, scroll down to Cricut Basics, watch the videos and try to, those might answer your question. If you have a question that we haven't answered yet, Ask it in the comment section below and hopefully we'll do a future video just for you. So thank you all so much for joining me today. If you have any questions at all, leave them below and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.